What's good traders? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Brazil of X trading. So today I have a no bullshit strategy for you guys. Most of you have really small tiny accounts and most of the time you're looking out for the profitable strategy so that you can be able to grow your account. So in today's episode I'm going to be explaining to you a strategy that you can use to swing trade so that you can be able to grow your small account guys. I don't care however small your account can be as long as you're going to be practicing and applying this strategy in this same way that i'm going to be giving it you you're going to be able to grow your money guys so if you're near around here make sure to subscribe to this channel turn on pressure bell so that you never miss out on a post a video let's get started traders the strategy that i'm going to be teaching you on how you can grow your small accounts is demand and supply Guys, this is the most underrated strategy that people neglect, you know. Uh, and most of people tend to confuse demand and supply for support and resistance, which can sometimes be true because, you know, both these points can act as, you know, resistance and, you know, support demand and supply. But uh, the main thing for me here, traders, is uh, we're going to, I'm going to be showing you three ways you can mark out demand and supply and be able to take trades, you know, risk free trade, guys. So for us to do this, guys, we're going to be looking at silver silver is a metal you know so this is a nice point for me to apply one of my you know concepts so the first concept traders as you can see this is my uh silver trade and i'm going to be uh going, working with the smaller time frame the four hour time frame as you can see traders so the first way use an indicator this indicator will tell you it will mark for you out of the demand and supply zone so the first way as i said use that indicator so we're going to search for demand as you can see right there, demand and supply. Now they're going to bring you the first indicator is what you choose traders. Now this indicator is going to mark out for you this zone zero. You know? It's going to mark them out for you. And then you can notice, okay, these are the demand and supply zones as you can see right there. Now for me, my major part here traders, I'm going to be uh, looking out for major zones. So this right here is a major zone right here. You can even see price reached here, price reached here, and then price bounced off from there, as you can see. So what will I do? When I see a market like this, I'm going to come here, choose my rectangle, then I'm going to mark out this point right here, just like this. Just like this. Then when I mark it out, then I have to drag it to the future. I have to dra dra drag it to the future because remember, price can basically come back there and then even re uh, have a hard time breaking that part because Sometimes we can have support and resistance zones. The zone that can act as a demand sometimes can also act as uh, uh, as supply. So that is my first point, traders, as you can see. Then other point I'm going to mark out, I'm going to mark out the upper part here. You can see they've marked out this point out for me right here. So now I mark out that point right there. So what we're going to do is come here, uh, choose the rectangle like this. Then I'm going to mark out this point right here right here so traders this is now what you have now this is demand and supply zones these are the demand and supply zones well drawn as you can see right there for someone else if they do want to use the indicator Another way is by using the wicks. So since we have wicks up here, so what I will do, I'm going to remove this, and then I'm just going to mark it out, you know, using the wicks. So I'm going to mark out from from here. So I'm going to mark it out from here. Let's choose the rectangle. So this is another way how you'd mark it out for yourself, you know. So this is how you'd mark it out like this traders as you can see. This this is just by using Wix traders as you can see. This is by using Wix. Now traders, as you can see, what we have here is price, you know, 
price giving us a clear demand and supply now we shall remove our indicator now when we remove our indicator traders you can see what we have now here you can see what we have right there a clear demand and supply so this up up here is acting as our supply zone and this is acting as our demand zone you know the demand zone that's why we're going to see aggressive sellers and buyers coming to the market and one of the signs that you see okay now smart money is into the market all the big boys are in the market when you see the v shapes you can see this is a v shape here you can see a v shape here you can even this is also a v shape you know you can even see up here this is a v shape right here a v shape right there you know this is smart money into the market and if i zoom into my uh, smaller time from here you'll see that even uh that is a more of a v shape than, uh, than even what i've drawn so now i'm looking out for two things traders when i'm trading demand and supply i'm looking out for a fake out and uh i'm looking out for bearish pin bars bullish pin bars all reversal candles that's what i'm only looking out for now the first the first thing as you can see traders right here right here we have a morning star pattern candle right here so this would be one my first trade right there a morning star pattern candle remember the morning star is a reversal pattern so i will take my trade right there Put my stop loss above just right here right here i'll put my stop loss just there and then putting my target down here as you can see that that would be my first trend and then i'm risking 38 pips to make 110 pips very good trade guys you can even see stop loss never goes back to hit my stop loss because that's a reversal point then where would i take my second trade now my second trade guys one of the strongest reversal patterns we have is a bearish pin bar or a bullish pin bar now you can see right here we have this candle right here we have this candle right here now this candle here you can see paris you know came in aggressively tried going back down you can see so now this is where all retail traders will be jumping into the market right here you know trying to you know uh sell so so just seeing see this candle you know drop like this now being surprised that now kind of pulls back and closes from above here and then we see price trying to reverse back to the upper side now look now me this is where i will take my trade my long position and price pulls back in my zone there you should always know all the candlestick patterns on your fingertips shoulders so my long position putting my entry there putting my take profit just right up here you can see that I'm putting my stop loss just right there as you can see Risking 50 pips to make 100 pips, guys. This is crazy, traders. This is a this is a very very good strategy. Now my next part is this one, traders. As you can see, because remember I want to see fake outs, breakouts, and all that. Now this is my next part, as you can see. We have price, you know, pushing back up here. Then again, we have this kind of pushing in the meaning bias trade, you know, pushing price back up. But again, we had price pulling back here. But again, this is an aggressive candle, as you can see. You can't take trade just here on a bigger time frame. You have to go into the smaller time frame. Now that's the, that's the five minutes time frame. Now what I do is uh, I come here to the five minutes time frame. I go to I'm going to go to the five minutes time frame, but uh, before I do that, I'm going to mark out that point. So this is my area of interest right here, as you can see right there. That is my area of interest. So I want to see when price pulled back. That candle that pulled back on the five minutes time frame. That is the candle. After that candle, I'm taking trade on the next candle that came up. Now I have to go to the five minutes time frame. As you can see traders the candle that broke out definitely it was a hammer you see the hammer closed up again we had a momentum candle then we had momentum you know we had aggressive sellers coming to them coming to play so the zone that i would take my trade is this is a nice zone right here this nice zone right here so i will take my trade on this zone right here so I'll use a horizontal line and draw it out for you guys to see right here so this would be a strong zone right here and the reason for this is because this side it's a, a resistance but now here it acts as support now here we see price breaking and retesting so meaning i would have taken my trade right there this would be a short position a short position there putting my stop loss just above right here 30 pips as you can see now putting my take profit just to the next level remember the level our level of interest traders remember our area of interest we already have is the next supply it's the next demand zone traders as you can see so i pull my price up to down here and just drag it to the future like this as you can see traders so you can see price can hit my take profit and then 
Here, uh, my target was 123 pips, and then my stop loss was just 30, 28 pips. Crazy traders. None of these strategies is a, a risky strategy because, because of uh, the patience that we have to have in all trading this, this uh, strategy, guys. You know? And what you always are, what you always going to look out for, because me, I'm looking out for reversals. I'm looking out for all these reversals, either on smaller time frames or bigger time frames. But again, the main key thing here is holding your position, guys. Don't freak out when you're trading this. Don't you know come out very fast. Second last puzzle piece is how do we find uh, supply and demand in another way? So that other way is called consolidation markets. And I've already done videos about consolidation markets traders. This is going to be very easy, like this. It's not of a finger. I'll be done with this. So. We already come back with the four hour time frame like this. So now guys, a consolidation market is one of uh, the elements of market structures. Because remember, we have uptrend market, downtrend market, and then we have sideways. We have sideways market and also the consolidation market. By the consolidation market is something that, that we don't trade. We don't, we don't trade that because we're just seeing price, you know, moving in the fixed zone. So what we do is mark it out. So the so consolidation market we have right here is this one. You can see right there. So what we do, we mark it out and then drag it to the feature like this like this as you can see so this is how we draw the consolidation market traders now i'm going to be letting you know why do we use the consolidation and how effective can it be so what you do you mark it up to the feature so guys whatever demand and supply zones you draw on your charts just leave them there don't remove all your don't remove them because price never know price can come back at that zone and then those ones will act as supply and demand in future you know now this is why I like uh, using consolidation because, guys, the thing with consolidation markets are very easy. When price is doing this, and then remember we are on a downtrend market, you know, okay, this is going to just be a supply zone right here. So you can see. We, so what we wait for out here is a breakout and a retest, and then we take our trade as you can see traders here. A breakout happened, and then we had the retest as you can see when price closed below. You can see all these candles we jumped into our zone and then they closed all below here so now for our for us our main thing is the candles that are uh the candles are closed below we take our trades on the candles that closed below so this we shall mark it as our supply zone like this supply zone as you can see right there that is our supply zone so now here we just have to go into the smaller time frame and then take our trade right there but uh and if you take your short position traders, this you take your trade right here, right there, then placing your stop loss just above like this, and then you target, you measure out the gap between this consolidation market as you take profit. So this will be our target. Yeah. Right here. That will be our target as you can see traders. Another great way to take trades off the consolidation markets, but again, traders, very simple ways. Now, I'm going to be showing you the last puzzle piece, traders, on how we can apply demand and supply onto our charts. But to do this, we're going to look at USD chef. As you can see, traders, this is our market right here. This is our USD chef market, as you can see. So, we can see on the USD chef, we have aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers coming to the market. But again, my main thing for me, I want to always look out for the fake outs. You know, those breakouts, and then you have price pulling back into our zones. Now, I'm going to mark out this point right here. This is a nice zone right here this is a nice zone right here because we see aggressive we had aggressive you know sellers coming one two three candles that's all we need so we're going to mark it out like this and then drag our price to the future like this so that is one again that is my demand zone and then i'm going to mark out this right here you can see uh we're going to mark out this right there uh, this is my supply zone so Again, guys, I want to see any candle that is breaking, or I want to see a fake out. You know, I want to see. Uh, I want to see a fake out. I want to see. You know that. Uh, I want to see those reversal candles. So as you can see, what we have, price guys. So this would be a good way to take your trade right here, because we see. Uh, depending on the smaller time frame that you're trading, this would be a good one to take trade right here. Then again, even right here, because we saw even aggressive sellers coming to the market. So even this would be our, our another. This one. Well, we see aggressive you see aggressive sellers coming to the market so guys you can mark as many demand zones as you want you can mark out as many demand zones as you want so now for me my major point here is i want to see a fake out trader so i let price play around let's see 
dropped so that wouldn't be even a good position that's why even i drew this second demand uh i drew this second demand zone you can see paris phone to do it played in here and then after you see it dropped so that is not what i'm looking for guys let's see let's see as you can see paris breaks we test on it then pushes back to the upper side it pushes back to the upper side comes back to the same zone as you can see it keeps on pushing up Pushes up as you can see, traders. Now we have one fake out right here. We have that uh, fake out price pulls back and closes into our zone. Now let's see if we can have a retest. You know, let's see we have if we can have a retest before price pulls back to this zone here. So you let your price play, traders. Boom, traders. So this is what I was looking for. I, was, I always like to trade fake outs. So fake out, this is how a fake out happens. We have price breaking out, but again, the next candle comes back and closes from inside. So this is where, this would be my area of interest, guys. I take my trade with no fear, no nothing, traders. And I, I have to make sure I hold this trade. So I take my trade on the next candle, putting my stop loss above there. I'm risking 169 pips, which is a lot, but again, guys, wait and see my target. My target is crazy. As you can see, this is my target. And then I'll drag this to the future like this. Then let price play, guys. You let price play. Boom! <laughs> Traders, my target was uh, 530 pips and I'm only risking 169 pips. So if you are using a standard lot size, that is already $5,350. But if you're using one uh, a micro lot size, it means that is 169 Unless that's around $16 or something. But if you're using a mini lot size, that is $169, Traders. So traders, this is my last example. You know I like Euro USD because Euro USD is the most traded pair when it comes to uh, trading in the forex market. So I'm going to choose this market and I'm going to go to the smaller time frame. The market is right here, so I'm going to mark it out like this for you so that you can be able to see it right here. This was the consolidation market. We had the breakout and the retest as you can see right here. So this is our consolidation market traders as you can see. Then when I drag this, because I told you never I draw a uh, these types of markets i have to make sure i drag them to the future so when i drag this market to the future like this you're going to see that this is now what i have traders this is now what i have you can see when i drag this nice market to the future you can see what i have so this market is not only acting as my uh my supply now me the trade that i took i took a nice sell from here when i go to the smaller time from traders you're going to see that this is uh, a nice uh let's try and check the smaller time from and see Let's go to the five minutes time frame and see. So this is what I had, traders. This is what I had. A nice consolidation as I was, I was waiting for the breakout, as you can see right here, traders. This is by just using your eyes, traders. You can apply demand and supply by you know looking out for the consolidation market, as you can see. Price was consolidating in this zone for quite some time, and then we had the breakout here. Then we had the retest, traders. So me, I really like to see the retest. On, on a consolidation market, whenever I see a retest, I know it's valid. You can even see we had, you can see we had the nigga fin candle right here. We had a nigga fin candle, so meaning someone would have taken that trade right there. Someone would have taken that trade right there, just like this. That's enough for me. Putting it up there, then you know, measuring my target. You know, if I'm risking 20, 20 pips, it means my target has to be like more than 60 pips. As you can see, this was. Uh, Actually, I took out traders. I took out more than 100 pips on this market. I took out more than 100 pips on this market. I took out, you can even see price kept on dropping. I took out, I kept on holding. Let's see. At this point where price reached, you can see it's 80 pips. Let's try to zoom out more to see if price. Uh, uh -huh. So, this is how far, guys, I took this trade down here. So, I took, I took out 100 pips, guys. 100 pips, you can see this. I took this nice trade and most of you that are my VIP you can remember that I took this trade. But again, it's not about just taking this trade guys. It's, not, it's more more about, you know, because the moment I'm, up, I'm identifying the type of market like that, guys, I this is for future use. Look what price does. Price comes back to the same zone traders and bounces off. You know, it bounces off. You can see we have momentum candles guys. You take your trade right here, put your stop loss above there, you know. As you can see, do these traders. Price comes back to the same zone that I marked out in my what? In, 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 in the past, you can see. I put my stop loss just above here. 20 pips again. Target is definitely a low traders. You can see 100 pips. 
you can see 100 pips traders again look price comes back to my zone again now this is a strong confirmation that i always told you i i, I, I like to see is seeing price break and then coming back and closing below and seeing this much rejection traders you see this much rejection so meaning someone would have taken their trade on this next candle if not taking the trade on here when price was trying to come back down again when you wait for the fully color to close again you're going to catch a big move so you take your trade right here traders just right here traders as you can see put your stop loss right there risking 30 pips and then we're putting our target right here as you can see Traders, that's how we trade demand and supply. There's nothing complicated about this. All you have to do is keep on practicing, backtest the market and see how does demand and supply you know, react to certain market conditions. Because market markets never are never constant. They always keep on changing. So you have to be someone who also changes with the market. If market changes, you have to change with the traders. So guys, make sure to like this video because the more you like this video, the more it's pushed out to other people to watch on YouTube. The more YouTube pushes out to other people to watch. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and then I'll see you in my next episode, traders. Peace.